Hey guys, welcome to FFT Vanilla Team Test Tourney Stream. Uh, basically what this is, is um, it's just a test to see how people's vanilla tournaments are going to hold up. Um, I know everyone's tournament teams are not final. I know mine certainly isn't. So um, the best we can do is just see how it all plays out and hope for the best. Okay, so... This might be a short stream, pen on on um, uh, how many people actually did submit their teams. Not many, but I do have a sa couple sample teams ready for everyone, just in case. So first up, um, let's see. We got Anima Zero's team, known as Extreme Vanilla Hunters, and on um, bottom we got Herobo's team, which is known as uh, who. I'm just gonna double check here. Who doesn't like chicken? That's where it is. All right, I just had to cheat a bit and look at the names. All right, so all right, no drop frames. Good. I like to check on that every once in a while. We got X the monk, Zero the lancer, Iris the geomancer, and shut up, Ayla the priest, Ayla. Uh, Ilia, Alia, eh, it's one of those two. Uh, geez, I'm like, wow, this is such a nostalgia trip for me. It's also m me hitting a brick wall. Um, I have not seen these stats in vanilla in like a long time. I had no idea. Well, okay, I had an idea, obviously, but um, I kind of forgot how how much. I'm, it's just I'm so used to, to seeing arena stats, it's not even funny. Anyways, uh, we have an attack up monk with 12 PA. Um, I know, it is weird to see anything vanilla. Um, yeah, there's attack up 12 PA monk. Um, judo outfit. That is an outfit that can prevent dead. And diamond armor can help prevent slow, so... If you want like a, a hard hand monk that can at least block a couple of statuses, this is the best thing you can do, given the limitations. Um, let's see, we got Spin Fist, Wave Fist, Earth Slash, Sigma Magic, and Chakra, and then just accumulate from the Squire skill set. Yeah, um, nothing over 400 HP, and it's possible, and nothing less than 150 HP. This is going to be really interesting. Uh, this is just typical melee monk. Damage split's interesting. Hopefully he can survive a first shot and then um, damage split, split it right off. Uh, we have a lancer here. Item bot lancer pretty much. With speed save and float. Um, pretty much this is the highest amount of HP you can get out of a lancer honestly. And mithril shield not too shabby I guess. Um... Yeah, Earth 8 range Earth Slash. That's going to be really deadly, actually. That monk's going to stay far back, as far as he wants. Um, Geomancer here. Time Magic. Magic Attack Up. Auto Potion Teleport. Uh, time Magic. Uh, what is she rocking here? Um, Haste Slow. Stop. Don't Move. <coughs> oh, boy. That Geomancer is going to take a very long time to cast Stop. Um, especially with no short charge. You know, that is considered to be legal. I mean, okay, you got Aegis Shield, which you have a 50-50 shot at block and stop. But still, it'll, it'll take a very long time for stop to resolve. A very long time. And finally, we got the Priest here. Um, what's um, what's unique here is there's a rule involving Blade Grasp. As you all know, Blade Grasp can block any attacks, or any physical attacks, uh, any normal physical attacks anyways. But you have to be at 35 Brave, no higher, no lower. Because uh, Blade Graphs, as you all know, is really damn good. Um, we got Cure, Cure 2, Raise, Protect Shell, Suna. And then from Yinin Magic. Uh, just Paralyze and Sleep. Just to go over a quick ruling. Um, you only allow one ability per team. So you can't have two units with Hamido. You can't have two units with Raise and Raise 2, stuff like that. Um, another thing to note is you only allow two team members that can have resurrection. 
um, like you can't, you also can't have like two people with uh, move MP up, etc., etc. Um, you can have two of these same equips though. That's what's important. That's something that would definitely want to keep you alive. Is um, imagine trying to do a team where only one piece of equipment is allowed. Ay ay ay. Um, all right, so uh, for Herobo, we got original the monk. Grill, the Geomancer. Extra Crispy, the Priest. And Death by Chicken, the Ninja. Alright, so this is like a bit of a bulkier team from Herobo. Uh, interesting, you can equip Armor Monk. That's probably the best you're going to deal with them. Um, if you want to give them some higher HP. Uh, accumulate heal and then wave its earth slash single magic chakra revive pretty standard stuff um, animus monk will hit harder um, but this monk with equip armor can trigger HP restore so he's more of a defensive monk I imagine that he can't really hit any less harder than he probably can uh, this is a draw geomancer magic defend up MP switch um, oh yeah, another thing to note is some combos are not allowed. Like, you cannot do MP switch and move MP up. You know, that's just unfair. You can't do abandon with a shield, mantle, especially with Aegis shield, because magic becomes just super stupid. Um, you know, and stuff like that. You got float, which is interesting. You can see a lot more units with float. Probably because just to avoid Earth Slash. And for the samurai skill set draw, you're only allowed just Asura, Bizembo, and Murasame. That's it. That's all you can. That's all you can really uh, get in this geomancer. Well, on, on any draw unit in, in general, of course. Extra crispy, the priest. Uh, some magic. Another, oh, one more thing about summon magic is that um, you cannot combine summon magic with elemental strengthening. Well. You can still have some magic with magic attack up, but you can't do, but you can't throw an elemental strength thing with summon magic either, because summon magic is um, unevadable and all. And this is all the summons that she's got going on here. Another thing about summons is you cannot use golem or zodiac. Uh, but otherwise, this priest is pretty much packed with um, all sorts of spells right here. Cure three is very risky as well as raise two because. It'll take an extremely long time for it to go off. Honestly, uh, short charge not being allowed, you're taking a huge risk of spells like that because one thing that people remember in vanilla is that um, when people do remember in vanilla is that uh, while you're charging, you can get extra damage done to you, which is also mid-charged as well. Um, I'm just going to refresh my stream for just a second. No, you can still use summon magic. Mm, hold on. Yeah, you can still use summon magic, of course. Um, with magic attack up, you just can't combine with elemental strengthening. I think that's what it is. Okay, and uh, finally we got the ninja here. Alright, so we finally got this ninja with the defense up, uh, blind knife, mage masher combo. That's interesting. And damage split as well. Move HP up. So this guy, um, obviously that's just inflict statuses. No throw on this ninja. Uh, for mediator, we just got threatened and solution. That's just basically there to lower the Brave and Faith values, obviously. Um, <coughs> oh, boy. Okay. So, enough analysis, enough uh, going over the rules and stuff like that. We want to see some blood. like Right, guys? Um, oh, yeah. The map selection doesn't label if it's small, large, or medium. So, I'm just going by which other number that is. Plus, it's just a test thing.
We see accumulate. Ah, the AI actually uses accumulate in this one. Very interesting. Carve model for decent damage, but then there's a damage split. Oh, yeah, damage split is actually really good too. Because now you actually would um, take off half the damage as opposed to an arena's one third damage. The monk's not doing that much damage. That's because that's probably because of um, accumulate. And the other monk is spamming it. Um, what was I going to say? Probably because the monk does not have attack up. That's what I meant to say. It's going to take me a little bit. Uh, okay. So it looks like that, um... Oh yeah, Geomancy's 5 range too. Don't forget about that. Ooh, a shell. And there's Titan. Oh, we did 70 damage. Wow. That monk is still alive somehow. He's got to hang back. He's got to go for Chakra. Good healing. And 144 Murasame heal. That's a good heal, actually. Alright, the priest will be looking for more Yinin magic spells, I'm assuming. Okay, no status proc from the ninja. Damage split. And speed save on that lancer. Oh, we got a protect spell. Stop. Hits the priest. And earth slash down to the geomancer in a hurry. And wave fist. Doesn't, um... Okay, we got some uh, anti sandbag from Herobo's Geomancer. And Death by Chicken. Oh, second shot missed. That would have been the Mage Masher proc. Had that connect. Quick Chakra from the Monk, trying to keep the Priest alive. And while she stopped, Blade Grabs cannot uh, activate. Cover okay, model. <coughs> Damage split. Alright, we can see a don't act proc uh, go off here. Carve model. Down goes the priest. There's a paralyze. Misses the monk. And there's MP switch on that geomancer. There's a revive. From Herobo's monk. It is the one with the higher HP. Down he goes. Nice cure too. See extra cop, extra crispy. Excuse me. He's gonna be looking for a raise. Uh... Oh, blade grass can also block jump. <laughs> I forgot about that. That blade grass can actually block jump. And there's a mid charge wave fist too. Speed save again on that lancer. Cov model, no petrify proc. And threaten. Takes away 20 brave. Oh my god. Are we gonna see a, are we gonna see a chicken? Are we gonna see a chicken? I would love to see that. That'd be funny. See threaten. Yes, chicken! We get to see a chicken, guys! Oh my god, we're actually seeing a chicken status here. It's been a long time since I've seen anyone turn into a chicken. Oh god, that's so dirty! That's just disgusting, Herobal! What have you done?! <laughs> Yes, uh, one thing about the chicken status is you do get one brave for every move, for every time that you move, every time that your turn comes up. So you have to wait till you get um, 10 brave and then you go back to normal.
Monk is silenced, but I don't think he cares about that too much. Ninja finally goes down, and Anima takes round one. <laughs> he survived the chicken shenanigans. <coughs> okay, cool. Um, Golden Coal City, I guess. All right. Um, I do. I think this is actually just a medium map. I want to say. Earth slash. Oh my god! That was a hundred A damage crit. Earth slash. Welcome, DW. Okay, haste. The, wh where was she casting on? Get okay, double reflect that time. This protect. All right. Um, one thing I definitely gotta work on eventually is um, next time I do a chat box, I want to actually be able to um make the chat a little bit bigger. I was kind of in a rush to uh get that going. Oh, no, DW, I did not get your team yet. Um, if you want to send me your team, um, just um, PM, me, PM it to me, and I'll get in as soon as I can. This is our Sura. Oh, and that priest is... Oh, she's asleep. Okay. I must have missed what was happening. There's a slow proc from the um, gusty wind. Cure three. Speed save. All right. After Sura. That Geomass is getting hit hard with a Wave Fist. Yeah, uh, one thing you have to understand is that um, the higher your Brave, the more Martial Arts will do. So generally, Monks need to have high Brave. So Herobo has a very defensive team that's basically anti-Monk. Um, hopefully, when I upload the video, um, you guys can see the chat, uh, the uh, the chat box, okay? Or perhaps maybe I need to make it a little bit bigger, perhaps. Or maybe it's just the, or maybe it's just the, uh, yeah. I probably just need to make the text a little bit bigger. All right, high potion from that Lancer. Speed save. All right, Geomancy for more sandbag goodness. Okay, the more of the monk's brave got dropped, so his um, damage is going to be less and less. Yeah, 36 damage. That's really, really low. Okay, now the monk is blinded, so 
I don't remember how effective Blind was in vanilla. So it's pretty much, I think, two on two at the moment. <coughs> Sounds proc, but it's 50% and vanilla. Oh, you posted in Team Bone DW? Um, could you just PM me that? Um, or I'll just go, or I'll go on uh, FF Hattics then. Hang on. Okay, uh... Oop, sorry about that. I forgot that, I keep forgetting that, um, the text box sometimes appear and it pauses the action a little bit when I'm not looking. If you want to put on hat -tick CW, uh, by all means go for it. It's just that I didn't, I never noticed it because I never, because I never got it. So, okay, so it looks like we got a two on one situation here. I mean, Geomancy is doing all it can. Oh, wait a second. Uh, Auto Potion only heals for 30? I thought it was supposed to heal for 70. Wait. Wait, um, wait. Someone confirmed this for me. Is all potion supposed to heal for just 30? Or is it meant to heal for 70? Hmm. Yeah, I think. Uh, whenever White Knight does see this, uh... Okay, 30 is currently cor collect correct. Okay, that's fine. Alright, I did get the message, uh, DW. Uh, let me see. Yep. Uh, I got it, I got it. Don't worry. I'll uh, what I'll do after this match is just temporarily stop the stream, and then um, and then um, I don't know what I'm going to be able to do. I'm just trying to think for one second. Um, I will. F um, I I'll throw it in there somehow. Don't worry. I just have to think. Well, before I can think, I gotta plug in my laptop. <sighs> oh, this map, okay. I forgot that everyone has to start at the top of the friggin' castle gates. That's actually really interesting. I don't know how this is going to play out, honestly. I don't know. Speed save on that Lancer. Poke and a miss. Oh, wow. Earth Slash can reach from far away. God damn. This is some crazy stuff here. <coughs> mm. 
Titan for 192 damage. Damn. HP restore. Uh, Carve Morrow does trigger Petrify. Like, and Local Quake can trigger Confusion. Oh my god, Earth Slash from like way far away. Is this legit, guys? That Earth Slash is allowed? Cause look how much look at look how much distance it, it's got. Hell Ivy, no stop proc. <coughs> oh man. There's a wall. And oh, there's a stop rock. And a punch and a miss. Ninjas have very high evade. Speed save once again on that Lancer after a Sura. Hell Ivy, uh, no stats reinflicted. I don't know if AZ's Lancer could just hold on for a little bit and keep triggering speed save, then he'll definitely be able to. Um, no, Earth Slash can be avoided by floating, so that's why people are gonna be using a lot more Feather Boots and Float as an ability just to avoid Earth Slash. So I think. It's still legit. You just have to kind of um, plan ahead a bit. <coughs> so you kind of ha just have to... Um, you just kind of have to keep thinking outside the box a little bit, I guess. So I guess the vanilla float is like the defense meta. Ooh, nice. See there? That's good teamwork right there. Dupree doesn't have to uh Dupree does not have to feel threatened at all about friendly fire earth slash. Triple Oh, stop rock. Wave fist, crit shot. Ouch! No petrify proc. And threaten on that monk. This is this is what really is gonna really uh, irritate Anima here because with the monk's brave being lowered over and over again, he really can't do enough damage. The priest still not still not choosing to revive, and then you're just still using threaten. And again with threaten. Monks at monks at a minimum ten brave. And how much damage does this monk do? 114, which is not that much, actually. <coughs> this is going to get really interesting. See, Paralyzed misses. Blind proc on that monk. Jump, but that won't be exactly enough damage. That ninja defense up is actually quite resilient. With the damage splits... And all damage splits, excuse me. Now the katana broken. You're gonna have to buy a new one, Missy. Down goes the monk. Lance have found a diamond armlet. Woohoo! 
Oh my god. The priest discover a triangle hat. Something she replaced her hood with. Chicken! Oh god. <laughs> no way to cure this chicken status unless you just let her brave say back get back up. <laughs> Good god. <coughs> Welcome everyone to the chicken meta in Final Fantasy Tactics. When in doubt, just chicken everyone to death. And Lancer is actually quite fast, so... Oh, if he could just threaten the monk... Oh, I think Herobo would... Oh my god, the priest can finally move! Crit shot! Or, uh, wave fist, excuse me. If the ninja could just threaten the monk, I think he'd be good. But he's not going to. He's going to be too focused killing that chicken. That ninja is still alive. Lancer grabs all of his health back. And that's it. That is it. Okay. Uh, I'm just going to stop the stream for just one second. And I will resume streaming and recording in a bit. So everyone please stick around. <laughs> 